Hi, you join me here on the fantastic range at Tranquillo Resort in Orlando, Florida. We're out here with the Golf Monthly team for the 2016 PGA Show. And undoubtedly one of the big buzz products of the show will be these TaylorMade M2 irons. TaylorMade always create a lot of hype whenever they release product. Uh, and the M2 irons will be no, no different, I'm sure. They certainly look like they've got a lot of technology packed into them. And TaylorMade's R&D guys have been very busy trying to deliver that combination that all game improvers want, which is more, dif more distance, but uh, extra levels of forgiveness. And I think they've done a really good job there. You'll certainly notice the uh, speed pocket there. Uh, that's in the irons from four through to seven. Uh, that was introduced with the uh, Rocket Balls irons uh, back in 2012. And I think that's been a really successful uh, bit of technology that you've seen a lot of brands uh, adopt, you know, some sort of uh, face slot, um, which helps really aid forgiveness. If you, you know, very few of us, particularly game improvers, are getting it out of the middle of the club all the time. So you want that help. You want your ball speed to not drop off massively if you get it from uh, anywhere out of other than out the middle. Um, also, what's interesting is these are very, very strong lofts on, on these tailor-made irons. It's, the 7 iron is 28 and a half degrees. I think they're pretty much the strongest lofts out there on the market. However, what tailor-made have done with the technology is they've allowed um, those lofts to be strengthened, but you're not you know, hitting it out there sort of like a bullet. You can still launch the irons, so they still get a good high trajectory, and they've done that by lots of clever R&D work to take the centre of gravity lower and further back to help you get it up. Uh, but those strong lofts really help you get it out there as well. And certainly I was testing using the GC2 launch monitor and I was getting some pretty decent numbers. Iron striking, if you watch any videos that I do, I uh, always say iron striking is not my forte. Uh, I definitely do with help uh, in terms of getting the ball out there and also with dispersion as well. But um, the five iron, I was getting that out up, you know, top end of the 170s. I think I got one out there at 179. Uh, even the poor strikes were sort of, 160, uh, high 160s into the 170s. And with the eight iron uh, that I was testing, sort of up there, 130, high 130s, early 140s. So pretty decent given my ball striking isn't great at the moment. So the technology is undoubtedly helping me do what it wants me to do, which is hit the ball a little bit further. I think it's a really interesting looking club, the M2. Um, looks good behind the ball. It's a sort of darker finish, um, coupled with a, you know, the sort of more of a sort of brushed chrome look. I think it sort of reminds me of the uh, Burner 2.0 irons, which I really like the look of that TaylorMade uh, had out a number of years back. Um, certainly confidence inspiring address, uh, not too much offset, definitely enough there to you know, give you confidence uh, and a relatively thick top line, but uh, not super thick. There's some really, really thick top lines out there at the moment. Um, look great as well on the shelf. So look, plenty of technology packed into the back. TaylorMade always like to say they are you know, the number one high performance golf brand out there. And when you look at these irons, when you see the speed slot there, when you see the badging on the back, which uh, really helps with the sound and the feel, you think there's a lot of technology in these irons. So really interesting if you're in the market for some game improved irons, then the TaylorMade M2 irons uh, should certainly be on your test list.